Hey guys, welcome back to part 3 on the go-kart quad build. So today is the exciting day. We're going to be welding on this plate, 3 8 thick, pretty thick. And they're going to go somewhere around like about that. But a little bit higher, but somewhere around there. So yeah, so this motor can bolt onto it. So this is a one inch shaft, eight horsepower Briggs. It runs and it runs really good, like someone really took care of it. I put in a new fuel line and new fuel cutoff. Tank is clean and clean, like super clean. New spark plug, so it got tons of power. Yeah. So today we're gonna be welding this on and we gotta make up some like spacers to jack it up a couple inches to match the rear so yeah so let's get doing this let's find some uh, blocks or something to space it up up here and tie into this okay guys I got something almost marked up here Got the engine plate, sorry about the wind. Got a piece of two inch uh, bar in there. Quarter inch thick. So that fits right in there and I got a little groove on the one side. That should be pretty strong there. Now on this side got a piece of tube just jammed in there for now. I'm gonna weld that fully. And when I'm thinking about something else, is yeah I want this a little bit higher up like, like an inch higher so I think I'm gonna cut uh, a one inch strip out of here and add it to this one to make it about three inches and add one inch on uh, this bar here on top just like this so yeah I think that one I'm gonna do okay guys just got done the engine plate. This is what it looked like. Got a nice angle to it. So we got what we're running is a two inch, back, no, a four inch back here, and a two inch here. And that's gonna run on top of there. I got that loaded in. And it's gonna run on top of there. So this is how it looks. Ugh. She's pretty beefy, so if I want to upgrade to like a 16 horsepower, 16 horsepower engine or something, I can. But yeah, she. If I can get it on there, <laughs> there's only like one position you can go. There we go. There we go. So it there, yeah, it on there, nice and strong. I just gotta weld it to the frame. And then it become one with the unit. It's all heavy duty. It's all quarter inch and three eight plate, so it's good enough for an engine. Bolt the engine on, and then enough room for the fuel tank. So when the the suspension go up and down, it doesn't hit the fuel tank. <laughs> yeah, this is like a mint fuel tank. I do not want to damage it on this engine. So yeah. I'm going to straighten things up and weld it onto the frame now, I guess. Okay, guys. Got it fully welded in. Yeah, it definitely saw it all right. So, yeah. I guess next to mount the engine, maybe? Okay, guys. Got the motor up on there. Looking pretty big. But yeah, everything lines up. There's like minimum clamps right here, but these see these two things don't move, so that should be fine. And on this side, there's a lot of room for putting that clutch on. Yeah, and everything is lined up perfect. So I'm gonna get the drill four holes to bolt this engine on, but I'm not gonna bolt it on yet. I'm just gonna drill the holes in the clutch location. Because I want to flip this whole thing sideways so I can get that uh, 
the pan on. Yeah. Okay, guys. No day, no dawn. We got the quad sitting sideways so I can get to the underbelly. Because there's a lot of stuff we gotta weld up. Yeah. Like all these little tubes, and then I think there was like 11 or 13 different things we gotta weld up. I counted last night. And I got the, a couple old stop signs. This is a very old one. It's a steel stop sign, which is in really bad condition. And that is the aluminum one, but we're not going to use that. I'm just using that for, uh, like, a weld stuff on and that stuff. But yeah, we're taking this one, cutting it up. Because it's steel, I want to put it in here for a floor pan. It fits perfect in there, so, yeah. Oh, another thing I got to weld. Finish welding these on the edge. But yeah. So I'm going to get to doing this. And I'll be back with you guys when I got somewhat hit in. Okay, guys. Got the surface all ready to be prepped. Got the sheet metal prepped. Got all the welding done on the entire frame. That was a... Took like a lot, like an hour of welding back there. All the little bits and that stuff. Okay guys, got it all tacked in. Now we're gonna flip it around and do a little tack on uh, the back side to hold it up. Okay guys, got it fully welded in. Now it, it actually says stop on this side. I like it. I do got this lip. I'm gonna keep this in case we can get another sheet and slide it onto the lip. So, okay, anything you scrape underneath the machine will go from this one right onto that one. And it won't catch on any lips or anything. So, yeah, at least going forward. So now I think I'm gonna adjust these shocks on the front. Right now, they, I want them on the weakest setting because they're pretty uh, hard still. I adjust those, and maybe start working on uh, a pedal setup for. The, I think I'm just gonna use this for now for the brakes. The normal, um, the lever. And hook it up somewhere, like, somewhere out there. I think it'll be fine. Now for brakes and for fuel, for the gas, I got this, uh... I got this contraption in here. Already needed this, uh, bushing in here. And this and the steel arm. I did bend it into a shape I want and uh, weld that on somewhere. Okay, guys, took a piece of three quarter inch tube, welded it onto the frame, capped it with a cap so it all looked like pretty. I had to put a shim in it to fit the, the brake, but it's on there now and it works great. And it works on that one over there. And it works on this one over here. So, yeah. So now, I think we're going to try to hook up the throttle linkage. I don't got no throttle cable at the moment, but we're going to hook it up. Like, put it on here anyways. I'm back. Made up the throttle pedal. It already came with a piece of quarter inch steel plate with a small, uh, like, bushing. Just have to drill a couple holes into this, wherever, uh, I want the throttle cable going. So, yeah. It could pull, if you wrap it around the front, it could pull, or it could push on the back. So, yeah. 
Got that all hooked up. Now, uh, I think I'm gonna work on the back. And I found this nine and three quarters sprocket for 40 series, uh, 41 series, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna cut that hub, this cub, uh, this hub off and, uh, use the bull pattern because I think that bull pattern right there, that these little ones here are the ones for this quad. So, yeah. Okay, guys, we're back again. I took the grinder and I shined up the engine plate and I added a, uh, a support down here just for echo insurance. And the gear, is it a used gear of mine? They got the bolt pattern right there, I think it is. And that's the same bolt pattern to go on this gear here. I think. But I believe so. I gotta measure it for sure. But this is the 10 inch or 9 3 quarter gear. And that should be enough torque to uh, swing these tires with that engine, no problem. This gear is way too small. So I shine, I cleaned this up. There was a, something sticking out here, like a hub. I cut off like a farmer. The farmer must have used. But yeah. So let's get the engine up there and bolt it on. Okay guys, got the engine bolted on. So that's getting sold up on there. I got it jacked up on the thing right now. Gonna take the tire off and the hub so I can get this the old sprocket off. Okay guys, got it all taken apart. This is all nice and shiny, the hub. And these are the hubs here. All, they're not even greased. They've been not shiny for a long time, I guess. So I got the gear off, a six point. The proper, so you gotta put six bolts in, yeah, yeah, yeah. The original one is a 42, and the upgraded one is gonna be a 60. It's gonna be more torque. But the hubs are a little bit, bit they're like a little, a little bit off. So, that nothing really bothered me. I can just drill some new holes. But, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna upgrade from a 45, 42 to a 60, so they're gonna be way more torque for this uh, engine. Okay, guys, got it swapped over. Didn't take too long to drill six new holes. But yeah, there's six holes. Now I gotta get four more bolts to go in each one of them. They are metric, so yeah. Put it on there now. Okay, guys, got the tire back on and the hub. So yeah. Got everything back together somewhat. That's going to be more more torque. And it is sitting still like 4 inches from the bottom. So tons of clearance. So if I wanted to put a 70, I could. But now, I'm going to maybe work on the throttle linkage. I have in the truck. Okay guys. Got the throttle linkage all hooked up. Got a spring here. To pull back the throttle a little bit. Then you got the cable running, you got a zip tie it still. That runs all the way under, up to the throttle up there. So yeah, been looking pretty good. Got a little piece of the bracket there with adjustment. And throttle linkage is up here. So yeah. And it's simple and there are tons of holes, so more adjustment if I need. But right now it runs great just the way it is. So, yeah. So now you gotta work on this clutch. We gotta put a sprocket on the clutch I got in the truck and then slide it on and put some chain on. Okay, to start the thing, you don't, right now you don't need choke. It is cold. Yeah. Runs good and strong, right? Well, guys, 
I got myself a spring down here, so it swings back even harder on the pedal, which I do like. It's not like you push in anything. And as you can see, there's something else up here. The little gauge panel, or I did bolt it in. Got an on and off switch to kill the engine. Just simple wiring. It runs down, goes along the flame, around, and there's a, a ground wire from dead air in case I want to put lights on this thing. And it runs back here and hooked to the kill wire, mostly. So, yeah. Got the switch to on and, off, uh, on and off the engine. And I see back here there's a small wire. And the 8 volts go into it uh, when the engine running. So that could be a light when the engine running. Wire that to a, a, a switch. And it gets like two, like um, six, eight volt LED lights or something. Maybe four on the front or on the top, a light bar. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm still waiting uh, for a clutch part. But other than that, put the clutch on and put the chain on and ready to go, I think. Okay, guys, my clutch finally came in the day after. So it's in there. I got it installed. A 14 tooth for a one inch axle. It just tightened in there so far. And it's looking pretty uh, straight, that chain. Got the chain on. It is a little bit loose, but I want to put a, a tensioner on this side. I'm thinking later on. Because it will loosen up. It's not a pre tensioned chain or anything. Pre stretched. I do have the tire off on this side because I'm installing a couple more bolts. In here, the two more gotta go in. So making sure that sprocket uh, doesn't rip the um, what it called. Yeah, the bolts out. Because <laughs> there's only two bolts in there to begin with, so that was definitely not enough for like this size of power. So doing that, put the tire back on and maybe go for a drive around. Because this is a 14 tooth up here is way too uh, way too high. We're gonna run a jack shaft jack shaft off the back where the plate engine plate is, I think. Hey guys, working back on the go kart today. So the last time we went for a little test ride uh, this, with this setup, but it way too much uh, gear ratio. So we need to gear it down a lot. So. We got the 14 tooth clutch there and the 60 there. So we're going to be gearing it down by adding a jack shaft. So this is what we got to work with. We got a piece of, uh, what I call it again? I guess what I would call it a baron holder or something. 
just like a pipe with a, with a groove in there, as you can see, that had these big C-clamps. I cut it in half to make two pieces with the groove. Then I got this piece of nice thick wall pipe, about a four inches long. I'm going to weld these to it to make it longer, like to make it a longer uh, gap. Because uh, these one inch bearings I got, they're brand new, they fit right in this, nice in there snug. So we're going to have one bearing on each side of the pipe, and then the clips to hold it in, and then a, a spacer in between, which is right here, a one inch spacer. In between the bearings to hold them into place to make up a jack shaft. Then we got some as a uh, one inch axle. I'm gonna take a chunk out of it because it used and it got holes in it. So we take a good chunk out of it, like a foot maybe. Mm -hmm. Clamp the one size up. Clamp the one size up, off. And then on the other side, uh, I'm gonna be installing it way up in there. And on the other side here, I'm going to put uh, uh, a small gear to go into the one on the axle. And then a big gear on the other side to go from the clutch. So that what we got here. We got a 60 tooth for a 1 inch axle. And then we got a, a 10 tooth, I think. Yeah. No, 12 tooth for the other part of the axle. So that will gear down, that will gear down a lot for more torque to spin these bigger 18 inch tires. So that's the plan. Now we're going to put everything together. Oh yeah. And I got some quarter inch, uh, two inch wide uh, flat roll. And I cut a couple chunks out of it and used for like uh, mounts. Mounts for this to weld on to the air. The trick is I'm going to do is uh, weld that on to there, and so the axle can pivot back and forth this way to tighten the chain and loosen it, and the engine can go back and forth to tighten and loosen the chain, because there are going to be two chains, but the jack shaft will stay solid, so that's the plan, so I get this all together in one piece. Okay guys, got this piece all made up, it's about a almost uh, five inches long no yeah it is five in five inch and seven eighths and I got the little pads to uh, space it up about an inch from the bottom we're not gonna go right in this area right in here I'm gonna weld it in and I got the axle all cut and ready I'm gonna t uh, cut the splines off but it's working pretty good. they got to fill a couple holes, but yeah. They're going to shove that all the way through when I uh, install the bearings, but yeah. You're coming along. I'm going to throw this in next and weld that in nice and straight. Okay, guys, got the axle ready. Got the hub in, or what are you called? Yeah, the baron. Yeah. <laughs> Got that thing welded in. Got the bands in. I got a bush inside, so uh, it can't squeeze. It can't uh, squeeze together anymore. So yeah, time to fold the axle in and start putting the gear the gears on. Okay, guys, got it all complete. Everything welded in. That chain on, that chain on. This one is a little bit loose, but we can adjust it after. So we have to take the thing out for a rip. Doesn't go fast any anymore. I'll do it just in case. Do the 
stuff. This thing got low, low gear ratio now. Maybe a little bit too low. But now I can just swish that spark it out anytime I want. With something over the, half the size, maybe. Ready? This is his go-kart we made. It goes way fast. Yeah. But that one is a little more better for adults. But I think I'm gonna gear it up a little more. Instead of a 60 tooth, it'll be like a 30 or something. Then you get the speed and torque. But I wanna see how it does off-road. <laughs> 